Okay. Okay, Charles, I'm going to try to put this together for you. Okay. As I've already done what I wanted to do here, but I'm, I'm going to sh go by going backwards, going to show you what I did. So I basically have the same texture here, but I have it with two different names. Now with the uh, Adjust Material Definition tool, <clears throat> you can see I've got Log Siding 3, that's right out of the library. And I've got Log Siding 3, 90 degrees. I'm going to show you how I did that. See, basically I've got this log siding 3 vertical on three sides of the model and this uh, I've got this horizontal stuff <clears throat> on one, one wall. <clears throat> what I started out with is uh, this horizontal material. I'll just switch back to that. Oops. Let's try that again. So I'm just I drop ring it so so it's all the same material, and we'll kind of center that up. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, material adjustment de material. Adjust material definition tool. Looks like a little rainbow st strip there. That'll tell you about the material we're looking at. And this is actually one that I made custom. And I might as well just start over. We'll go to uh, a blank plan. Okay. And I started out with just uh, siding four walls. you know, your basic box, and then an overview camera. Okay, that's basically what, now I was in this tool mode here, that's, that's the reason I got this dialog. So this is the home material for, for uh, siding four wall, which I think is called tan, yeah, tan siding one. Okay, well I want to put uh, your, log, your house is kind of a log house, so I thought I'd go click on the Material Painter, which will open the library browser. After a bit of a lag. <clears throat> After a bit of a long, annoying lag. There we go. Okay, and, and of course it went right here because I've been there before recently. And uh, we'll pick something different this time. I'll pick that. No, I don't like that. I want. I think I picked the, this one because it has the larger chinking in it. Okay, now it's in the painter. I just left click, and I'm just forcing this material on top of the existing tan stuff. <coughs> I could use the material eyedropper and so forth, but I wanted to kind of drive this home. <coughs> You're going to be doing custom materials and you need to become conversant with the painter and eyedropper and material adjust, adjustments tool. Okay, then we'll paint that on there. Now just for your edification, let's click on the model and hit the tab key or next button here and open this one wall. And you'll see that if we go over to wall types, it's still got that original material on it. But if you go to the Materials tab of the selected wall, it's got that material that I impressed upon it. Okay? <clears throat> now, if you want to have uh, the material running one way on some walls and another way on, on other walls, well, then you're going to have to uh, take in some additional steps. So I'm going to select the, the model, get the Next button, open up that wall, I'll go to that material, and it's now Log Siding 3 is a plan material. So we'll click on plan material and there it is right there. What I want to do is copy it and it automatically names, names it to copy of log siding 3 and I'll just change, give it my own name 90 degrees and that gives it a new name so we can, you can separate basically the same, temp, 
same material one from another. And this material, I want to have a different pattern angle. So we'll change the pattern angle and the define material pattern uh, <coughs> tab. Change that to 90. Hit the tab key, you'll see the pattern change here. Then we go to the texture tab because all materials in Chief are de design, defined as pattern files and as texture files. You have to do the same thing. Whatever you do the pattern for vector views, you have to do to the texture for OpenGL or render type views. We'll change the angle there to match. Now I've got a new material that's going the other direction. It has the same att basic attributes, but it has a new name. So there's 90D log siding 3 and then log siding. And that's basically what you need to know to solve your problem. It's rather straightforward if you know what to do. So this is the way you can have a consistent look throughout your model, but maybe you have the logs running a different direction, only in some places in the model. <coughs> All right. We'll see if that took. <laughs>